got me sipping on the more fire when I need more power. That's why I didn't hit a lick off a couch and I ain't need more fire. Big time, I'm a lowrider, running no more fire. And I ain't been stacking up home bread. That's a little more fire. So I am most likely not to succeed in the real world. The internet not only changed my life, but nobody cares. Nobody cares. They don't know who, if I had to take out a brand of an energy drink, put it online, they don't know who, who Baba Zile and Sapu is. They don't know my background. They don't know if I'm white, black, gay, lesbian, nothing. They are going to buy the product. This is The Hustler's Corner. Hello brothers and sisters, hustlers and squatters. Another exciting episode of the Hustlers Corner where we bring hustlers here to come and teach us a thing or two about hustling or about how they're making money. So we can also learn, guys, the new world right now. We're no longer going back to that world before the lockdown. So there's a lot of people who have just mastered new ways of making money on this internet thing. So we'll bring as, as many of them as possible to get them to come in and you know, share a bit of their stories with us. And Teach us, Retajuan Chelete online. How do we make money online? And I'm quite excited because the person that's here, they've been doing exactly that. So they'll be sharing with us their story. First up, let's go straight to the Shop Shop sign on the count of one, two, three. Let's click those like buttons. Click, 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 click. Thank you very much, guys. Let's click the subscription button this side as well click don't forget to switch on the notification bell so that you get to know whenever we're uh, dropping brand new videos let me just encourage all of you guys who are watching to go straight to the description box you're going to see a link that takes you to a brand new podcast called virtual mkuku with penuel the black pen click that link go subscribe to that podcast there's another link there that takes you straight to my personal youtube click that link subscribe to my youtube there's another link that takes you to penuel's personal youtube click that link subscribe to penuel there's another link that takes you to Bapusha's uh, YouTube channel. Click that link, subscribe to um, Bapusha's YouTube channel as well. And then there's also a link there that takes you to the More Fire merchandise for anybody who's interested in uh, purchasing and selling More Fire or buying More Fire merchandise, caps, jumpsuits, whatever it might be. There's also a link over there. Click that link, it'll take you. Um, all the way straight to the Mofire shop. I didn't know that we'll be on 100,000 subscribers now, but the road to a million subscribers continues. I'd like to bring you guys digital entrepreneur, hustler extraordinaire, and somebody who's not selfish and sharing information with other kids out there on how they're making money online. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Hustler's Corner. Bapu Shabana Babangwena Wetang. Baba Zile is Yen Tapo. How do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I get excited when I see my tribe, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the attitude yeah. because I love people with, uh, who vibrate high. Yeah. People with a positive spirit, with a positive energy. But I'm even more in love with you because you are not selfish with the info. You are literally sharing it on a daily basis on your social media. And for that, I just want to say congratulations. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And that's the reason why you're here. <laughs> that's the only reason why I'm here. <laughs> for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I was not selfish, I wouldn't be sitting here with you right now, Zbou, yeah? No, thank you very much, man. Yeah. I think maybe let me start before before I get into your story, just a little summary as to who you are and what do you do. Uh, to summarize it up just quickly, uh, I was an uh, entrepreneur like everybody else. I had an entertainment company in the Val. Sorry, can you be a little bit louder? Let okay. me, yeah, just Here close. Yeah, sure. Here we go. So, um, Baba Zilin Sapo from the Val. Um, I, my story is too long, but what I do now, I would say I'm a digital entrepreneur. I, I'm a drop shipper and I sell on Take A Lot and I teach people to do the same thing. Um, but just to give people a background of where I come from. And take your time, don't be in a hurry. Sure. No, don't be in a hurry. Okay, cool. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm from the Val, uh, but I was bred in Pretoria. So my mom moved to Pretoria to give her, to give me because I'm the only child yeah. uh, better education and my surroundings. You know the environment means a lot to 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 um, a kid growing up. So I grew up in 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 in, in Pretoria, but I was uh, you know I was from the Val. I became a TV presenter uh, at SABC. That's where I met you. 
Uh, I remember the first time I actually met you, you, we were in the makeup room at Urban Brew. And I was, you were just sitting next to me. And I was like, no oh, way. Oh, friends like these yeah, days. Friends yeah, friends like these days, yeah. And um, basically at that time, I, I was not sure of what I wanted to, to do, but I knew that I was in the right place at the right time, you know? Um, but w when time went on, I just felt like I had to uh, go back to my hometown, which is the Val. And just, I, I felt like these things that I needed to change a car, you know? I didn't understand why people, um, especially musicians from the Val, were not blowing up or were not getting the same opportunities. I didn't understand why didn't we have superstars like Casper, AKA, from the Val, and it's so close. So I invested most of my money from presenting and I put it into opening up a hub, which was a pusher, um, it was a pusher hub, basically, uh, where creatives would come. So photographers, videographers, I used to invest in that. And um, yeah, it was it was great with entertainment and everything else, but COVID hit. And, and what were you guys doing in the, at, the, at the creative hub? So um, I, I was... I, I thought that I knew what I was doing when I started, uh, uh, I don't want to say a record label, but more of management side, uh, managing artists. Um, I lost a lot. Like, I lost a lot of money uh, into putting artists on because the other thing is that you, you're not sure you're going to get your return on investment, right? So even with the money that I had, you open up offices, you pay for rent, you pay for uh, studio time, you pay for all these things. And even when contracts are made, you're not sure you're going to get your return on investment because people change, you know, especially when it comes to fame. A person will get fame like from the hood, like in and then tomorrow morning they wake up and they tell you how much, you know, they tell you they're not going to do certain things. And now you are in conflict because you invested this much on that person. You don't know if you're going to get that money back. So tell it was a, it's a, it's a tricky one. <laughs> it's a it tricky one. Well, sure. You know, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, you know that. So. And, and, and the sad thing is, unfortunately, a lot of the times, even those that, those that you help to succeed, unfortunately, some of them, they don't get to appreciate it. That they, they don't get to, they don't want to appreciate it. I don't know how you turn into an enemy and you've done so much. Like, um, it, it, <laughs> I've invested with four artists, right? I'm talking about money that I've made, I've worked hard for. And I was, I was okay. I was a TV presenter. And I, now that I think of it, but I don't regret anything. Okay. Now that I think of it, if I, if I stuck to what I was doing, I would be here where I am a lot quicker. If I took that money and I invested in myself, instead of taking that money and going back a car and trying to help, I would have been way, like, but I don't, like I say, I don't regret it. It's lessons learned and I needed to do that. And you know, when you give, you'll get 10 times more. So they say, blessed is the hand that gives, right? Penuel, who happens to um, be my co-host on Mondays on a show called Virtual Mkuku, right? Yeah. You're on this platform. Um, Ole says that he's sick and tired of um, wanting to uplift and help black people. He feels that we are ungrateful at some point. He feels that sometimes we are ignorant. Sometimes we are all these different things. And he's got his own reasons. Mm. And, and, and I would understand him where he comes from a lot of the times. But I always say to him, I can relate as yeah. well. I know that I've also played a role in helping so many people, but a lot of them are never appreciative and as you're saying sometimes you even end up turning into an enemy you know but um i kind of feel we should we shouldn't tire Yes, it will get irritating. Yes, you'll keep helping and a lot. Of, some of them won't, won't appreciate it. But I kind of feel, Mina, that's what I'm brought here to do. That is my purpose, to empower other other kids, you know? And I kind of feel, even if they don't appreciate it, that's fine. But but because from my side, I played my role yeah. in doing the Lord's work. 100%. And I'll forever be blessed. As I always say, my name is Sibusi, so I'm blessed to become a blessing. Yes. So I don't care... How how you feel about it, whether you're thankful, whether you come back to say thank you, I don't care. Yeah. But I just feel that's what I'm here to do here on earth and I'll continue doing it even if people say thank you or not. So I'm glad that you are not regretting it mm -hmm. and I'm glad that you've also went through that path or, or, of investing in other people. Yeah. Because now you've learned your lessons, you've had your school fees, mm. now as you grow and you become mm. better financially, you will do better. You, maybe you'll probably still help, but in your own smart, strategic 100%. way. Never help a fellow, no, 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 no. <laughs> because a hundred percent and i've seen it with you uh i mean Spuda, like i i think i i need to tell you this you know um I, i've learned from you from just watching you and i've met you like three times so the first time i met you something about you 
uh, you were shooting friends like these, I was shooting It's For Life. We're at the same studio and then I just came in to watch you work. And I don't know, out of like when you, like there was a break, out of nowhere, you just came to me and gave me advice. Like, you know, there was like, nobody said, yo, come through, speak to this young person who's looking up to you. I think you just saw how amazed I was. And you just said, this is how you do it. And you gave me advice of my TV presenting and always be yourself. I remember you said that, always be yourself. No maganjani, whatever you do, do be yourself. And because I was, at that time, I, I used to remember, I used to imitate Uskup Magatin, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to do that whole scoop thing. And then when your advice came, it came at a perfect time because I got two more deals after that, you know? I got Open Varsity and I started doing a radio show, you know? And because I was being me, you know? So those, those type of things, they go a long way. And I, when I see people scrutinizing you, but the work that you've put in, and I'm like, yo, if Zbu's going this, it's fine for me to become an enemy eh, at my hometown. But I've given, and they know I've given. Like I said, everyone who came into my life, ne, they came in, but they went out as a different person. But they like me, they don't like me, but they know the way they came in, they were, they were not the people that they came out as. They are, they are more liked, they got more views, maybe, maybe in, in my hometown they know who they are. Because I've invested not only financially, but advising. You know, and making sure, go to if you need something, I'm here. Whatever situation, you know. So even with the disagreements, or you know, I I realize one thing about if you stay in your home hometown too long, and I always say this: do not stay in your hometown too long. That's where dreams get killed. You know, people will support you more if you're outside. If you go outside, people don't know where who your background. They don't know whatever, so they're more supportive. They will support you more because they're not they're there because of what you're giving and how much like how much knowledge you're giving and not because of your past you know people in your hometown know those things about you so you'll never succeed they'll never promote why would i buy more fire yes boo boo a man what coding never you know what i'm saying so if people that's what i love about the internet it's something we'll talk about right now they don't let, okay let me get my pronouns out there because i know it's gonna be a thing on, the, on, on it's gonna be a thing i have everything that is against me in this life, around, like to succeed. I'm black in a place, in a, in a, in a country that is known for apartheid. I'm a woman in a country that is known for GDB, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a lesbian in a, in a country that's known for hate crimes, where people think that if I do one, two, three, um, you might just be straight. This is, these are the things that are against me, right? I can lose. I, I, no one would, would find a reason not to work with me. White people will find a reason not to work with me. Men will find a reason not to work with me. You know, ho homophobic people will find a reason not to work with me. So I am most likely not to succeed in the real world. The internet not only changed my life, but nobody cares. Nobody cares. They don't know who, if I had to take out a brand of an energy drink, put it online. They don't know who, who Baba Zile and Sapu is. They don't know my background. They don't know if I'm white, black, gay, lesbian, nothing. They are going to buy the product. Even when you hate me, Buddha, you are probably making me a millionaire on Take A Lot right now. Because you don't know that the products that are there, they're coming from me. You understand? So that's one, this is the one thing that I love about what's going on in the digital world. And I say, thank God for, for COVID. Because if it wasn't for COVID, I would be still in my hometown. Doing the same thing with the same people, investing the same way, getting hated. But you've done so much. They'll admit it at your funeral that you've done so much. They'll say, it's Buddha, that did this, that, 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 that. But they forget. You know, they'll forget the trauma they put you through. They forget the, 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 the slands, the, 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 the tree. I, I am so shocked that every time I trend in my hometown, it's for negative stuff, which is not even real. Right? Someone can wake up tomorrow and say, uh, OBA is, is part of what, 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 they are running what, what, and I will train for that. OBA is with DJ's boo, 200 likes. How? How am I getting 200 likes when I'm, I'm, you can see my real hustle? How am I getting 200 likes when you can see people outside the VAR saying, this person made me 10K, this person made me 5K. By watching this person, this person has changed my life. This person made it possible for me to now bring groceries at the age of 18 while I'm still in high school. I'm 
not train him for that. But let something happen, Spooda. Let something happen that is negative. Watch how it trains. You know? So that's why I say I'd rather lock myself up. Have a laptop, have data, have no connection with the real world and still become a millionaire. Let's start there now. How did you get introduced into this internet world? And guys, that's the reason why she's here because the amount of knowledge she has and the amount of different side hustles that she keeps sharing on her social media platforms to help so many people out there is totally amazing. And that's the reason why she's here to come and, you know, sort of spark some ideas out there or to in inspire you to go start doing your own research on how you can start making money on this internet thing. Or well, the easiest thing to do is for you guys to start following her. Start watching her videos, go check out her TikTok, go check out her YouTube and all of that stuff. And you can even reach out to her because she does one-on-ones as well. Yep. She helps people start from nothing to start making money. But you have to be doing the work because yeah. a lot of you guys on, on the internet, you sometimes just want to watch, 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 consume, but you don't want to go and apply the knowledge. And it's even in the real world. Like we get so much information, but we don't apply it. And then you wonder why your life doesn't change. How did you get introduced to it? So COVID hit uh, 2020. Just came back from uh, my birthday with my mom. Uh, the country's going down. I've invested, I, I was going to do a big festival. I've invested money in that big festival. You know that money's not coming back, right? Yeah. DJs are paid, sound is paid, <laughs> what one is paid, it's not coming back. So I've got 1.5 in my bank account. Actually, I've got 8,000 in my bank account. I have to pay the rent, and it's, we're shutting down. I have to pay the stuff that is left. I've got 1.5 in my bank account. I have to go sit a kai, like everyone else. Uh, go so 8K was gone, you were left with 1.5. 1.5, that's all I have. So sign to me my name. No, and this is locked na down. Nothing, nothing. I have nothing else because I was, I was sure about the event that I was going to have that, you know, the man. So uh, sitting there, obviously anxiety, like everyone else. And I'm like uh, browsing through the internet, right? Buy data for 500 rand, uh, that's 50 gigs. Buy data, browse, 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 pump into a video. You can make money online. Click it. International, uh, you know, content. Of course, Americans talking about this. I'm like, there's no way. In South Africa, I make this. It's, calling, it's, it's, it's talking about surveys and apps and all of this. I try one, doesn't work. Try the second one, doesn't work. I'm sitting there the whole time, listening to different content creators. I try the last one, field agent, it pays me my first dollar. Hey. Field agent. Yeah, field agent. What, what does it do? Is it an app or what is it? Yeah, it's, a, it's basically an app that you can download and you can do. Now that the country is open, you can basically go out and it will give you, go to KFC, buy a meal for 35 rand, uh, taste it, tell us what you think, give us a breakdown, give us the report, we're going to pay you 150. Right? So that's basically what apps do. Right? But then it was surveys because we're at home. Right? So how are you feeling? How's your mental stage? Whatever, whatever. You answer those questions and then you get paid. Oh, so you made your first dollar there. Made my first dollar. Weren't you surprised? Like, wow, I've just I made like, money in international I currency. Was like, I <laughs> PayPal inside, but obviously I don't know how PayPal works, you know? But obviously, what I love Buddha about YouTube is that I sat there for hours. I didn't eat, I didn't do anything. My mom is like, what's wrong with you? You're always on the PC. When's I in love? I'm like, don't worry, when I just keep on bringing the food and see where she up, because I used to lock myself in, I'm the only child. That's what's nice about uh, being about the only child and your mom being an understanding parent, right? Because you get to do things uh, that other kids, but you know, my mom didn't bother me, right? So I did that first, got my first dollar, and I was like, okay, if I can make one dollar, I can make five dollars. I made ten dollars. If I can make ten dollars, I can make $50. I made $50. But in this process, I start my YouTube channel, right? So everything that I'm gaining, I am documenting it. So, so this, that's, is, this is 2020? This is 2020, right? I started YouTube channel 2018, but never did any content. You know, it was never, yeah. So 2020, I was serious. Guys, this is what's going on. I've got 20 subscribers. I'm, I'm, I'm saying guys, like 50,000 subscribers, right? Go through this journey. And then from 20 uh, subscribers, because everything I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking about works, people come back, like, yeah, it worked, what, 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 people read comments, and then they go try it. So I went from 20, uh, from 20 subscribers to 1,000 subscribers in a day, and then from 1,000 subscribers... In a day, on YouTube? Yeah. Yo, you know how difficult it is to grow subscribers <laughs> on YouTube? <laughs> in Yo. a day. In a day. And then I was shocked. I woke up, and I was like, what's going on? And then from 
a thousand a thousand subscribers to three thousand subscribers in a week and then uh, because there was one video that ranked you just need one video because i used to record every single day that's what the thing about youtube people don't don't get they want to post a video one video at a time and wait for it you can't you must you must you must put in content right you must put in content that's exactly what you must do like five videos a, uh, in a week that's how i did it because i used to record every single day so i would i had one video that ranked so but you still have content that you can consume after that right so fine that one video ranked and then from five thousand i got fifteen thousand subscribers fifteen thousand yeah i got fifteen thousand subscribers in less than a month 15, on, YouTube. on YouTube. And yeah, that's a difficult thing <laughs> to do. Yo, but yo, you remember yo. what I was talking about? Hey, you at home. Mm. It's COVID. Oh, and I'm everyone, talking about money. The whole world was at home. I'm yeah. not dancing. And because you're talking about money. I'm talking about money. It's a need for it's a, a lot need. of people. So I didn't understand this, but now that I understand what I was doing, obviously when you're doing something that you love, you don't understand what you're doing, right? So everybody's home and the people are making money. So they're coming back to contest. So I used to have religious followers. Like every time I would drop, like, you would get, like, 500 comments. You know, like, yo, yeah, yeah, we are here, we're here. But the issue was, because I was growing rapidly, you'll find out whatever I was talking about would only pay 1,000 people. Yeah. Would only pay about 1,000 people, but uh, it's going to have about 15,000 views or whatever, right? And it's, it's growing. Even if the people are not subscribing, it's about 20,000 views. So only 1,000 people will get paid from that. So you had to be fast. If I mention the app, you must go there quickly, download it, do it, because it's not going to pay everyone. I've got a lot of followers. I remember we crashed this other, <laughs> this <laughs> other site. <laughs> there was another site that they asked me to, the advertisement, advertisement, and they're like, please advertise this thing. This guy called me, he's like, what did you do? My thing is now crashed. I was like, I don't know. It's not me. It's the pusher gangs. That's what we used to call ourselves. Oh, that's what you call your yeah, crew? Yeah, pusher gang. Like there's chillers, there's yeah. hustlers, there's squatters. So there's the pusher gang. Gang, yeah, okay. pusher gang. So that's what, I was like, pusher gang, this is what's, what's going on. Go get it, right? Then we crashed. Most of the sites we used to crash. Like they knew. When we come out, we want that money. We want to know what's going on. Give us that money. So after I grew, I started making money. And then my first paycheck from... Um, Eight months, right? This is eight months later. Yeah. How much was your first YouTube check? 23K. Yeah. Your first check was 23,000 yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. This is just YouTube. YouTube video. Yeah. Wow. But you must remember, that's my first stream of income. I've got nothing else, right? But because of the things I was learning, because I wasn't like shooting and whatever, because I was researching so much, so I was bumping into other things. Yeah? So I bumped into dropshipping. Right? And dropshipping needed capital. So I had that type of money. Oh, before that, when I had the 500 Rand, I used it for data. The other 1,000 Rand, I bought it. I bought my online course, which was basically how to start a YouTube channel. And that's why, that's why I started learning about, you know, analytics, how to, you know, all these things, uh, um, thumbnail, C CPM. CPM, and things like that, how to, things, all these yeah. things. So it helped me a lot, you know. I, I forgot it was Kelly something, but it was American content, as usual, right? Because South Africans are not making courses because they don't know about these things. Or they do know, but they don't think they should make a course about it, right? So I paid my, my, my thousand rand, which is a uh, hundred dollars, right? Converting it was another story. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had to, yo, I had to fight with people just to convert my money. Anyway, so um, as I as I did that, I now got my twenty three k. I bump into this thing called drop shipping. Okay, this drop shipping thing. What 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 what? Pay some money. When I tell you, my first, uh, I lost my first store because I didn't know what I was doing. And I didn't know, I didn't have a mentor, and I didn't, you know, I lost 8,000 Rand on ads, right? Like, I didn't know ads, like Facebook ads or whatever. O okay, maybe let's slow down. Okay. <laughs> what is dropshipping? Okay, dropshipping. So, dropshipping is basically having a website, right? You build a website on Shopify, WordPress, WooPress, there's so many presses, and uh, basically you can build it yourself. There's no need to, you can just, you literally, guys, in 2022, there's no need to find someone to build you a store. Like you can like literally have YouTube here and go through the tutorials and build your own Shopify store. You don't need to pay anyone. Don't even buy ready-made stores. It does not make sense. You're buying a car, but you don't know how to drive, right? So I'll get into the ready-made store later. Dropshipping, you build a store, one product store. 
let's say we are selling these cups. Yeah? We're selling these cups. We don't have the cups on us, but we have a supplier. The supplier is selling these cups for 100 rand, right? So you are going to put a markup of another 100 rand because I always, I always want to go 100%. I want to get my money 100%. But you don't have to be greedy because you're not getting, you don't, you don't have to physically buy it because you, you are now getting a supplier. So you can make it 150, right? So it's on your site. The customer comes and buys it on your site. When they buy it on your site, you tell the supplier. The supplier delivers it to the customer as if it's from your store. I don't want to lose you. 100%. Say like, that again. I'm saying, you build a store. It's an online store. You are selling these plates, cups or whatever. You have a supplier. The supplier can unlay the product. You don't have the product. All you have is a beautiful website that, the, that you advertise to customers as if. So you're the middleman. As if we're not, you have the cups on you. Oh, but they don't, you don't know. But, but you, don't, you don't hold you don't the inventory. You don't, you. Hold, you don't oh. hold anything on it. And you. besides, it was locked down, so it was impossible for you to have any stock around. Any stock around. You or you. deliver it. Yeah, exactly. I get you. So when immediately when the customer orders, you send the 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 request and you pay the the supplier the hundred rand. You keep the fifty rand. That is your profit. Mm. So you're not losing much on much. Without owning any nothing. stock. Without, nothing. Without oh, you don't buy just stock. Just with my website. Just with your website. Mm. So you're making free, basically it's free money. If you think of it, mm. because you're not holding anything, all you just have to do is just be good with marketing and making sure that they buy from your site. Okay. Right? And then the supplier will send it to the customer. It's the same as drop servicing, but we'll get into that a little bit later. And then after that, you scale up, basically find winning products, what products work and whatever. Oh, so you do research in finding out what products are selling the most. Yeah. Or you can... People say don't change the wheel, but in South Africa, what I like to do, because we don't have a lot of dropshippers, which is sad. The dropshippers that I know are very few, and usually it's our Caucasian brothers that are getting it right. I mean, a, a guy that we just introduced to take a lot right now, Justin, he's the first guy in my, in my, that I've taught, in the students that I've taught, to make 100K in a month, because he followed everything I said. But most of us have excuses. So my thing is, just, you saw, not like our failure. Justin was with us. How come he could do it? How come he could make the 100K I was talking about in a month on Take A Lot? So what was his excuses? He didn't have excuses. Maybe, yes, we can debate and say maybe Ototi Capital and people are struggling with capital, or, but it's possible. If you know it's possible to make 100K on Take A Lot in one month, then it's, it's easy for you. So Mina, I know about drop shipping on Amazon. Or, or on a program that they would call Amazon FBA. I didn't know that now it's also available on Take A Lot? Yeah. Okay, how does that work? Okay, so I wouldn't advise it. Um, there's two reasons why. Because your products, people don't want to wait on Take A Lot. Dropshipping, you have to call the supplier, tell the supplier, unless if, you, and then the suppliers are probably on Take A Lot. Like the suppliers in South Africa are probably on take a lot. So overseas is Chinese people, right? So drop shipping works well because it's, it's Chinese suppliers and it's in China and they're drop shipping in America. So if you're in South Africa, they probably like, you're not gonna find a cup for 100 Rand and then still find a supplier in South Africa selling it for less than that because you need to make your margins. And on take a lot, they are, they are um, what's this? They charge a lot. For you to be on the site, they charge all these things to be on the site. So buying products is way better than actually drop shipping or take a lot. But I can tell you how it works, but I don't I don't advise it. Okay. I don't advise it. But I also heard that um, Amazon has bought some land. Apparently they're coming to South Ooh, Africa. I'm so excited about that. How true that. is that? Oh, I'm so excited about that. You see, if Amazon comes, it's coming on the on the second, the third of February, my birthday is on the second. <laughs> uh, they're dropping in February, 2023. When they come through, Amazon already take a lot is making is making millionaires, right? It's 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 there, right? It's 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 proven. Like the groups that I'm in, I'm seeing a lot of people saying, "Guys, I can't believe this month I made 1.3." Like what? So you can't believe you made 1.3 million? Like these are the type of conversations that you hear. Like like it's nothing. Like I. Why am I not making these, these margins? So if Take A Lot is doing that, imagine what Amazon is going to do with, because Amazon's blueprint, I mean, Take A Lot's blueprint comes from Amazon. So Amazon is coming to South Africa. 
not only with uh, infrastructure, not only knowing how to run everything concurrently or, 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 or automated, you know, and they, they are basically bringing the best of the best in South Africa to actually learn about e-commerce and do e-commerce. So if you're the first people in to be doing FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon, you're guaranteed to be a millionaire. If you know what you're doing, if you start now, learn. It's free information, and I keep on saying this, but the problem with free information, you can feed it to people, ne? I can feed you all the free information, but it depends what you do with it. Because it's useless, it's, it's useless if it's in the wrong hands, right? And it's there, it's online. Like you can sit now, you don't have to wait for Amazon to drop. You can sit now and go, Amazon FBA. Take notes, do your thing, do your thing, learn, try it while you're still here. I get it, you're not, you're not losing anything. You're not putting ads, you're not doing anything. Try it while you're here. By the time it lands, you're already ahead of the game. There is no way that Amazon can drop and you are part of the digital industry or digital entrepreneurship and not become a millionaire. There's no way. Then something is wrong with us. Because we're not paying rent for, for to have a structure. You, you don't, you, you're not even paying products because now you can drop ship from because uh, now it's going to be open, obviously. You can drop ship from China and they're going to bring it to South Africa because they'll have those type of communications of how they're going to deliver all those products to, to South Africa, right? And they're going to open up gateways. That means we can sell now. Amazon is international. You can sell in America, in the UK, everywhere. And you are here in South Africa. So how are you not doing this? How are you not, how are you not making... Because now it's, it's open. It's not only take a lot. Take a lot was in South Africa. It was making millionaires. Now Amazon is coming and it's opening you up to the whole world. A beautiful thing that you said, which is very interesting. And I love entrepreneurs that are as smart as you. I don't want to be at Mofire every day. Yes, in the beginning, a few years when we started, I had to be there all the time. But I had to put up a structure where I know that at some point I want to be independent. I want to build a company that can exist in my absence. Mm -hmm. But that's exactly what you're doing online digitally and you're calling it automation. How do you build a biz an e-commerce business and automate it such that it operates in your absence? How do you do that? So when you get to a certain level, you, you can pay people. Um, that's the first thing. You can pay people um, who are better than you, right? Who know more than you, who can build better than you. You get people who can advise you, right? Just advisors, and then after that, they can leave. Because it's freelancers, usually, most of the time. They're just gonna tell you how to do everything. So I'm gonna tell you for free how to do this. Before you continue, and where do you find those people? Do you find them on sites like about Fiverr? Fiverr. Okay. So mm. Fiverr, guys, has got a lot of creatives, <laughs> graphic designers, or virtual PAs, whatever you need, whatever skill you need online, and you wanna hire that skill temporarily and pay a certain fee, go to Fiverr.com with the double R, ne? Buddha is acting like he doesn't know. No, but it's for <laughs> Yo, the sake of I'm the just, audience. I'm I mean. just saying, you know more. Like, you already, like, oh, head. Like. Because I educate myself, <laughs> you know. And, and, I, and I learn for free. Yeah, yeah. That's Stuff great. that I'm even more interested in, then I want to advance my knowledge, then I buy courses. Okay. But, guys, there's a video on YouTube for anything that you want to anything. learn. Anything. Yeah, but obviously, you know, with YouTube, they, there's information. They, the real information is actually on the course, yeah, usually, most of yeah. the time. Usually, they, they, they use YouTube as a bait. bait. They'll give you a bit of information, and but then, if you want more, then they're going to say, like, buy my course. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But guys, you don't just have to buy courses from anyone. There's also a lot of scammers out yes. there. Do a bit of your research before you buy anything from anyone that you're not really sure of. You know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, just to advise people, there's something called Hello Peter. Before you buy any course from anyone, just go and read up what it says about the person. Because uh, people, like, 100 people can't complain about the same person. Just an advice. Anyway. Okay, so we're still talking about automation. Automation. So, um, paid people on Fiverr, how do I do it? Whatever, structures and everything else. So, this is what's nice. You need to link up everything that you do. So, with me as a content creator, uh, I need to have free time to do other things, right? I can't sit and record and record and record videos and for so I've got seven streams of income. Uh, You've got seven streams of income. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I started. I had to. I had to. So I understand the the goal that I wanted. So I had to, like, yeah. It's 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 evident. If you want 
if you want to make 100k per month or 200k you need seven streams of income you can't rely on one stream of income it's not going to happen or two or three you have se you need seven streams or more so you've been acquiring all this knowledge all along sorry to disturb you once no again problem. and i know it's it's, it's a personal information but roughly what's the, what's the highest you've made in a month <laughs> in one month so far 160 160 yeah wow it's all, like it's all and right yes no i want i want i want to say a meal one day yeah i want to say and, and that's meal. around the yeah. corner yeah it is by this time next year you'll be saying that yeah i have to i have to be saying that and 160 with I'm, I'm just i'm just saying like my money no tax no nothing sitting there without paying anything without yeah 160 net yeah net okay sorry uh, i disturbed you we're still on automation automation so basically um let me start with drop shipping. So with drop shipping, you build a store, right? Uh, and then you automate your ads, right? Because you need to run ads or to for the home to promote your store. But you need to have one winning product. So that winning product, you know that it's evergreen. So evergreen means people are going to need it no more It doesn't go with seasons, right? So you find that one product that doesn't go with seasons. Uh, what can I make an example? Diapers. People are forever going to need diapers. You're going to buy diapers. People are always having babies. You know what I'm saying? So let's say you have a diaper uh, winning product and it's very, uh, it's got a, it's, it's got an it factor. I don't know what it does, but it, it's not competing with the mainstream. It's just doing its own thing. And these things, you can find them like basically on um, Alibaba. Alibaba's got the best uh, products that you, you're going to need. Then I have that store and then I run my ads for a month. But in that, in that month, what it does is that I have another, so I use PayFast. PayFast will, 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 every money that I get, right? Every money that I get will go to PayFast and then I will actually duplicate it to pay the supplier itself. It will do its, its own thing, pay the supplier, keep my profit, put it in that savings account while I'm sleeping. I'm not doing anything. So it needs to run by itself without me touching the laptop. Right, without me doing, it's very hard to do this, especially with drop shipping, because there's a lot of complaints, there's a lot of uh, returns that you have to do and things like that. So you will get at people on Fiverr and pay them like twenty to thirty dollars to deal with customer complaints and customer uh, returns and everything else. They will deal with it, and you, usually they are like overseas; they're not even in South Africa. They will deal with all those things, and then you let that run the way it does. But I wouldn't advise it as a beginner. You need to at least have be making a turnover of like 300k to 200k to have that whole automation right and then my youtube channel i would bulk um shoot so i would shoot in one week uh in one day i will shoot for three weeks so i'll take off my t-shirt shoot 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 give the invitation uh what's this edit it send it to my editors they will send me all my stuff back and then it, i will just list it out of when it must come out right and it, this thing is called um let me find on my phone Right, um, you just put it on 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 uh, on yeah YouTube Studios, U T Studios. You put it there and you put dates of when the YouTube should thing. That's my other stream of income, right? So I need to have content, and with YouTube, you need to post content regularly in order for you for YouTube not to forget you and for you to make that money. Because 10k to 15k to 20k comes from. YouTube. So it's not another stream of income that I did, you know, that I that I have to have. Né? And then you have to have your e-commerce stores. Your e-commerce stores basically means you're selling more fire. With me, it's different. I'm, I'm selling pusher clothing, right? So I have pusher clothing, but I've got uh, four or five different websites, not uh, websites, uh, social media platforms that I need to put content in, right? So you hire, uh, you shoot once for the season, right? You know, August, September, you switch for your catalogs or whatever, and then you you have to have pictures going out for there for people to actually buy on that one store. So that also is automated, right? So and then other things. So basically, what what I'm saying is that automations runs like this. Social media drips down. That's marketing, right? Social media drips down to all your e-commerce stores. That drips down to the money. Then it reinvests. So you need to always reinvest. That's why people are like, yo, you're making so much money. Yeah, but I need to reinvest in order for that money to make sense, for that thing to run by itself, to automate itself. This has to go to that, that has to go to that, that has to be, it doesn't need to be approved. 
It's a system. It runs by itself. It knows what to do. If money's in, it's going to take this much out because you already, uh, especially with PayFast and everything with your payment gateways, there's a way of you to actually say, if 200 gets in here, who led to 150, send it to that bank account, that 50 rand must go to this thing. It will do itself. From there, this 50 rand must reinvest itself to ads. From ads, it must reinvest itself to posting the posting. But the social media, if, especially if you're a content creator and especially if you're making money online, your bottom line is making sure that your social and your media, it's dripping down to make that profit. Yeah, so basically how it works. So you need to make money while you sleep if you want to be a millionaire. If you if you cool with your salary every month and whatever, ah uh, no, you can work. You can stand up, go work, pick up this thing, put it down, and get paid. And you know what I'm saying. But if you can find a way to say, how do I make how do I how do I make this thing without with or without me, run itself, make me money, and I'm not here. Affiliate marketing. I can just put my, Facebook. Can I sell you more fire? Yes. You you gave us a link. Give us my link, okay. I'm going to sell your cans. Open up my own store. Online. Even if you have your store online, I'm probably going to beat you with ads. I know what I'm going to do, and I know the type of people. Because sometimes you don't answer your, your messages on Facebook. Someone asked, hey, when are you coming to Mpumalanga? I'm like, good shot. Then I set my ads to go to Mpumalanga and all these places. People buy on my store, and it gets to them. And then, or, or I, they don't even have to buy from my store, just a link. I use your, your own store. I got my link, people buy from my link, it tracks, I get my commission, you get your profits, I'm good. Without you holding any inventory, nothing at all, without even you meeting me, nothing. Nothing. That is called affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing. Selling other people's products for a commission. But I need you to send me a link. I need you to agree that, listen, this is the deal, right? This is the deal to say, you giving me a link, that tracks that I can see, you can see, we can agree, or Rabona, the same thing, and it's easy to get that link. It's called affili affiliate, right? You can just put it on your website. And then from there, you can just check who is selling what, right? And then you give me the link, and I can link it in all the, or all the pages where you, I see uh, DJ's boo, obese, give to obese, he can't answer every single comment. I put my link there. Someone is asking, why can I get, put my link there. Then I'll go to other more fire related, and then I Google, more fire uh, on, in the search engine, questions. Then it gives me all the people that are, ha haven't been answered or are asking something about more fire. Put my link, put my link. As I'm sitting in my house, put my link. I'm getting, I'm getting sales for you, you making your money, I'm getting my commission. And, and, and that link is gonna be there for, someone is gonna see that link. Someone is gonna talk about a link here. Because it's there for the whole year, for the next five years, for the next however Someone long. is gonna meet that link. Mm. So imagine how many links I have of different products, of m 4 Jam, of Field Agent, of Canva. Canva is big now. Everybody wants to be a designer. Everyone wants to just click, click. My Canva, uh, Canva uh, must this link. If you pay your subscription, which is 999, I'm getting a piece of that. If you go to Fiverr and you use Fiverr and I use my link, I'm getting a piece of that. And it's free, like you don't, people, now I wanna, hey, why should I use your link? Because it's free and I gave you the information, please support me, thank you. You're not losing anything, right? You can do the same thing that I'm doing. Uh, people now are teaching other people how to be, just to become uh, <laughs> entrepreneurs by just affiliating themselves to brands. That's why I say I don't understand entrepreneurs, I, I mean uh, influencers uh, or uh, people that have 1.2 million followers but you say you're broke how where i don't understand because those are sometimes they they religiously follow you or maybe they just follow you for for the sake but if you can't say even without them you can strike deals there's no need for you to wait for a brand like evlon or whatever to say come and work with us you're not that important seriously as a TikToker or influencer, even if you can have 500,000 followers, you're not that important. They rather work with Bonang, they rather work with Mathali, they rather, you are not that important. Show them how important you are. Just, just randomly say, shoot a thing for more fire. DJ's Boo's gonna catch your eye.
because he's always on TikTok now. He's looking for that next thing. So if you shoot that thing for, 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 for more fire and DJ's boo spots you, you're like, I don't want anything from you. I just want your link. That's it. That's it. I don't, I don't want you to give me free. I will buy even the products. I will buy the products. Don't worry. Just give me a link. Because you know you've got 1.2 or 500,000 followers. Immediately when you say, guys, uh, in your story time, Mama Ntabo, Abata, Abata Ntabo, hey, they're going to ask you, Chomi, Jonung, what are you drinking? Ah, I get more fire. You guys can get it on this link. People go, buy the more fire, you get paid. And so if 500 of, if you've got 500,000 followers, even if 20,000 20, of them just do that, how much do you have in the bank? So these are the type of things that uh, we need to start discussing as digital entrepreneurs, digital content creators, digital whatever. You're getting anxiety because you're following people like, uh, people already, like, they're going to get the brand deals. Ponang is going to stress you out because she's going to show you all the brands are coming to her. Now you want to be a Bonang. You can't be a Bonang. Start from the bottom. Get to where Bonang is. Because she started from the bottom as well. But there was no, there was nothing. This information is new. This information Bonang didn't have. She had to find a way. But this information is out there. All you have to do is open up your, 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 your YouTube, TikTok, all these things, and follow. Execute. You can listen to me all day. You can sit here, listen to me all day, listen to you all day. You can bring all these hustlers, do the hustlers corner. If they don't, if you don't execute, you're fine. You understand? It doesn't matter. Even if you have to have a mentor, a mentor says go do one, two, three, and you still don't do one, two, three, and have excuses. Uban ban was whatever. My car, my cat, my whatever. Consistency is the only thing. Consistency. I, I tell you, Zbu, ever since I have everything of mine, from my phone, from like the board ekaya, like in in my in my apartment, everything is written down. It's to remind me what to do. It's consistent. If you do the same thing for six months, the same thing. Shoot a video, do this, go to the gym, be healthy, record, find out, read a book, do this. I'm hundred percent sure that you will. That's it. Six months, just try it. Like, if it doesn't work, come back to me. I'm just um, I'm so excited because I want them to listen to you. We've been talking about what we spoke about drop shipping, we spoke about um, um, affiliate marketing, we, we spoke about automating drop servicing. How does it differ from drop shipping? Same thing, or oh, it's the same thing, mm. same thing, but the only difference is with um job servicing is that you don't use products it's services so let's make an example like um you're a graphic designer you're a good graphic designer you undercharge yourself you're charging 500 bucks i go to a client and i say what do you need and they say they need a logo i say i want 1.5 and you say you want 500 i'm like good shot i take that uh 1.5 uh, i pay you the 500 you do the logo i give it to the client as if it was me so it's white label Mm. So drop servicing is actually better than drop, but I like products. I like touching. I like, I like seeing what this thing does. I like. Um, there's Marshall Marshall, Malaba. I've Marshall. heard Marshall here. Yes, yeah. of course. He's amazing. By yeah. the way, Marshall, you must come back, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm Marshall. sure your knowledge now is on another level. So <laughs> come back and teach people some more how to make money online. Sure. I also had him on on my YouTube channel, and he was it was like we are, we not going to do just because you're doing drop shipping and it makes money. I'm, I'm going to now jump into dropshipping and just because you're doing, yes, we would, but sometimes because we love what we do and it makes sense to us, that's what, that's what will keep us winning because you, you're excited. You're like, ooh, what product am I going to get? I'm sure he's like, ooh, what service am I going to get, you know? So with, with, it's, it's like that. So don't follow trends most of the time. Like, yes, trends would help you identify what you like and what you enjoy. Because if you hate YouTube and you don't like shooting and it's a drag for you to wake up, trust you me, you're not going to win. Mm, something has to drive you, that enthusiasm, that passion, that eagerness to want to learn, to want to do it. 100%. That's how you're going to learn and make money. Now, let's talk about, um, I know you spoke about courses as well, and I know that you help a lot of people. If I'm watching this right now, and yes, I can hear that this person can help me know one, two, three, and four, but I want to know more. How do we... 
how do you how do you help people so with course creating i started in 2020 when i started realizing so i did seven streams of income so i was teaching everybody everything and then obviously when you're teaching you also learning it like what how how different people are right some people they're like a step by step like thar you know some people want mentorship they're not going to do it without you like they can watch the video but they'll still get lost they want to talk to you like you know have zoom classes and things like that so i grew in that uh, and understanding even psychology you know how people understand how people learn and things like that because having a course is easy and saying come buy my course and that because i felt bad like if if you don't win and i taught you something i felt bad but I understand that, again, like I said, I can give you all the information in the world. It's up to you what you do with it. So if how people, what I'm doing now is master classes. So one-on-one, you want to learn about Take A Lot. Saturday and Sunday, when I have a chance, um, I would take out master classes and I would say, okay, here's a master class for 250. I'm going to break down everything that you need to know, how to get on, on, on Take A Lot, how to package your stuff, how to do this. And you can ask me questions right and then, there and then, right, for uh, a, a group setting, right? Uh, it's, it's available on my website, which is pushacompany.site. Or I also do free 101. This is also on my, on my TikTok. You just you go, you go on my TikTok and you go to my bio and then you click. I do one-on-one free ones just to find out, like, Sometimes you have time. You have an hour or two. So whatever that's been scheduled on there, I would pick, sit there with my coffee, and I'll just answer someone. So it's only about e-commerce. Nothing about apps. So I think I've, I've passed that. I can't go back about apps and things like that. So everything about drop shipping, and everything about e-commerce. You can ask me. Maybe you're lost. Maybe you're started. But you have to have started. Please don't ask me what it is, because all that information is there. Like you can go to my video. You can ask, but maybe you are stuck in, you're about to optimize or you're about to do something and you're stuck there. You just need that 15 minutes. Book it. It's free. Come, let's talk. I'll break down everything for you. I will help you for free. If you feel like you need, like you need to a breakdown or you need to be a beginner, then you can just take a course. You don't even have to take it from me. There's Udemy. There is, um, yeah, Udemy. I think Udemy is the only one I know that's legit. Um, yeah, there's Udemy that you can actually go to or you can just come to me personally. But yeah, when I have time, I do do free uh, one on one co um, what's this? consultations. And then I have master classes for take a lot and Amazon is going to come like I'm learning about it. like I'm sitting like this on Amazon like I'm because we have a, a group. I, I want to show you something that is crazy. This guy, like I said, Justin, my group, uh, my WhatsApp group, I have a WhatsApp group with people that we support each other like everybody. If you're selling, and you're part of the WhatsApp group, like we'd wake up, yo, I made my second sale, I made my third sale. How are you guys doing? I did this, that, that. So what, um, Justin sent us a thing, said I made 100K, and I was like, so it, it is it possible. It feels great, It man. feels good to yeah. know someone made 100K because of you what you take. Yeah. And they, they actually said, you and shout out to Gibbs, I need to give a shout out to Gibbs. Uh, like I met Gibbs as a subscriber and now he's my business partner. Shout out to Gibbs. He is the most patient guy. Cause you're different. You know, you have to find people that are different from like you from you, right? Now I'm spoken. I'm good with explaining. I'm good whatever. But I'm not the most patient person. I understand that about myself. So after you've done that, you have to move that person to the most patient person who can say, okay, let's start again. This is how you do it. He's the most patient person, the most humblest person, and you need those people to crown you, you know, uh, as a team. And please, this is the last thing. When you start making enough money. Get a team. You're not gonna do it by yourself. You are not gonna, it's not gonna happen. We think we can do it by ourselves, but you're not gonna have it by yourself. So yeah, that's what I do. Those are the two things that I do uh, in helping. I'm so proud of you and thank you so much for visiting us, guys. She's coming back in summer. So this is gonna be another friend of the show because uh, uh, the, the person that she is right now, she'll be different from who she is in six months. Because in that six months, she is consistently learning even herself. So her knowledge will be even on a better level in a couple of months' time. So we're looking forward to having you back. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so proud of you, eh? But it's an honor. Like, you understand? <laughs> I'm like, so proud of yo, you. Yo, <laughs> like anyone, I think everyone that sits on this chair, and I've seen this in the show before you close, look at how many lives you've changed, Zbu. Do you know everyone that sits here? I watch your, like, I'm a religious follower for Hustlers Call. Everyone that sits here, everyone, Mac G, Patu, uh, everybody's like, because of you. Because, so you're invited and you're still giving back. 
Like you already given and you're still giving back. Like anyone that sits here is beyond blessed and beyond like keep on doing what you're doing. Like people like you encourage people like us to encourage people that are coming after us to do what we're doing. I know someday someone is going to be like it's already happening, but I'm hoping <laughs> like you know when I'm like whatever age it w it will be a, a repetitive thing, you know to say I would say Buddha did that for me. Someone would say, Pusha did that for me. Someone would say, Oban Ban did that for me. And it should be like that. Thank yeah. you so much. I really, really appreciate you. That is so true, man. You're only at the beginning of your career because you hardly just started now during the lockdown. And I kind of feel your story needs to be told. More people need to know about young people like yourselves who are just ordinary, who are just starting from nothing, just using their phones or their laptop and just Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And I always say to um, young people out there, if you can, instead of your parents buying you that expensive sneaker, Rather ask them to have um, unkept Wi-Fi at home mm. for a certain amount that is affordable so that you can start hustling online. Guys, there is no reason or there is no need for you guys to go work as hard as we did. Go work the corners, go work the streets. Mm. Yes, there's still people who still do that. But because you're already exposed to this type of content online, why not you just might as well take advantage of that time that you're spending online to just learn so that you guys go out there and work smarter than us. She's basically hustling, but hustling from the comfort of her own home with just a laptop, with just Wi-Fi, with a phone. Started during the lockdown with 1,500 rands hardly a year and a half ago. And the things that she's doing right now, totally amazing stuff because also not selfish about info, sharing with other people. Your last words to um, the same people that we're speaking to, the young people out there that we would like for them to get into this space or change their lives because the unemployment rate in the country right now for young people is, is crazy. Mm. So that's why we have to bring people like yourselves, you know, to share that information and say, guys, you can change your lives being on the internet. You don't only have to follow celebrities or musicians or just follow gossip pages or platforms. There's ways in how you can learn and make money online. Speak to them. So uh, my last words is basically start now. Start with what you have. Don't have any excuses whatsoever. There is going to be a time you're, you're tired. You don't want to push through. You don't want to start that, that online store. You don't want to do anything uh, you know, to, 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 to get out of bed. Because I understand also with the mental health, it becomes heavy. I understand Ekaya, they're telling you, why don't you get a job, a real job? This thing of you sitting on your laptop and doing and you saying you're making money, where's the money? Separate yourself from that. Find yourself an environment where you can keep on pushing. Because trust you me, if I could do it, you can do it too. So please, go out there, start with what you have, and start anywhere, anytime. No excuses, no better time to start now, but now. Ladies and gentlemen, young people are doing great things with their lives. The question is, what are you doing with your life. Guys, we want you to be a part of the family. If you feel this content that we bring out you on the show, benefit your life. Become a part of the family because we've opened up our memberships. Our membership starts from 9 Rand 99, 39 Rand 99. There's different packages. For instance, I pay 9 Rand 99 Rand 99, 100 Rands every month to the chillers, to podcast and chill. I pay 100 Rands every month to podcast because I love their content every month. I pay, do you know what I mean? So I've subscribed to those platforms, but we also understand that some of you guys are young, you don't even have money, you don't even have to be a member. Just consume this content and go out there and practice it, apply yourself, learn as much as you can so you guys can become digital hustlers as well and make money on this internet thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you, I'll see you soon. Eh? I'll see you soon too. It's all love. <laughs> Bapusha, remember the name, Bapusha. Follow on our social media platforms. I'm gonna put the link in the description and then go and learn. So that in a couple of months' time, you can start sharing stories and say, I watched the first on your platforms, boo, I started following, and then I started learning. Now I've just made my first 10 grand, or I've just made my first three grand, or I've just made my first $10,000. Do you know what I mean? I'll see you guys on the next video. This is The Hustler's Corner.